Hello and welcome back to our roster and schedule reveal series from our FCS Dynasty and NCAA Football 2006. This is our final reveal before we head into year number two. This is the VMI Cadets coming in ranked 16th in the preseason poll for season number two. Starting off on offense, Justin Hopps, 85 overall quarterback. Now he had a pretty good season his freshman year. Uh, nothing spectacular but he definitely helped his offense out and got some good quality wins for this Kidet team. Now he is 6'2", 212 pounds. He definitely has a lot of room to improve in his sophomore season, but let's take a look at his stats really quick. And he threw for 2,148 yards last season, 18 touchdowns, 17 picks, 50% completion percentage, but he was sacked 43 times. The offensive line has to step it up. Hops also ran for 923 yards and 13 scores on the season. He fumbled the football 12 times. So he's going to need to hold on to the ball a little bit better here in his sophomore season. On to halfback, Cam Sanders, 82 overall. He was suspended for the first few games of the season. And he really came on strong in the second half of the year. He's got an 82 overall, 6 foot, 203 pound halfback. He ran for 1,579 yards, 9 touchdowns, along with 69, 143.5 yards per game. Uh, let's see, 529 yards after contact, 16 20 plus yard runs, 48 broken tackles, and 3 fumbles on the season. He also had 15 receptions for 245 yards and 3 touchdowns. Uh, he was not on special teams at all, so that's it for stats for Cam Sanders. Let's move on to the next halfback, five-star freshman, Ladarius Johnson. He's got an 80 overall. He'll definitely be getting some carries this season for the Cadets offense. He's a big back, 6'1", 206 pounds, similar size to Cam Sanders. So I think it's going to be a nice one-two punch here in Virginia. On to fullback, Matt Keller, 90 overall. He is the highest-rated player on the Kedets team, and he's 5'8", 233 pounds. Keller ran for 372 yards last season on 84 carries, which was good for a 4.4 yard average. He had six touchdowns, a long of 25, 151 yards after contact, 120 plus yard run, 32 broken tackles, which was second on the team behind Camp Sanders. And he fumbled the football twice. He also had 12 catches for 107 yards. He's still looking for his first touchdown reception of his career but Matt Keller of course a great talent at fullback 90 overall best player on the team moving on to wide receiver we've got Joseph Martin number 19 he's got a 78 overall he's 6'6 207 pounds this VMI offense has some really really tall wide receivers and hopefully Hops can utilize them a little bit better this season uh, they didn't have a huge impact in year one and Martin only 13 catches, 237 yards, and two touchdowns for the big guy, a long of 30. And he also had eight drops. So I'm expecting the receiving numbers to kick it up a notch here in year number two. The second wide receiver, Jason Wright, 76 overall. Another big receiver. He's 6'4, 208 pounds. He was second on the team in catches with 23. He had 478 yards, which was also second. And four touchdowns, which was second as well, along of 60. And let's see here, five drops on the season. So he's definitely got some room to improve as well. Most of these players really have a lot of room to improve on the offensive side of the football. On the tight end, Jake Barry, 82 overall. He's 6'5", 244 pounds. He led the team in catches with 27 last season, 627 yards, eight touchdowns. He led all these categories. And he was just a monster. Six drops on the year, though. But definitely the best target for Justin Hopps to throw to. And he's got another target on offense to throw to as well in four-star tight end. Uh, freshman Jay Balmer, number seven, uh, number 80, he's 78 overall. He's 6'3", 210 pounds. So all of these targets are just massive for Justin Hopps. He just has to throw it up. And one of these guys is going to come down with it. I expect Balmer to come in and make an immediate impact on the opposite side of Jake Barry in the tight end two spot. Let's move on to the defense. William Reed, defensive end, 86 overall. Now, we didn't really see him 
that much last season. 21 tackles, 13 for loss. He did have nine sacks, though. He had most of those in the last few games of the season. So he really came on strong at the end. But we need a complete season from him. And you might see him get close to 20 sacks in a year. So I'm expecting big things from William Reed in year two. Now on to uh, the second defensive end, Javon Stewart. He is a five-star freshman recruit. He's 6'5", 245 pounds, 82 overall. So that's going to take a lot of pressure off of William Reed and Henry Hamilton on the defensive line. So there's going to be a lot of sacks, I think. This defense is really nasty. It doesn't show here with the subscriber players, but VMI had one of the better recruiting classes in the entire country, despite the ranking that they had and the recruiting uh, class rankings. But they have so much depth, so much speed, especially at key positions like cornerback. And I can't wait to see these young men play. Uh, kind of disappointed that none of the subscriber players uh, really picked VMI. We only had four get chosen on VMI when there's so much talent. I believe there's two corners with 99 speed. These guys are just going to be beasts. So look out for VMI here in year number two. On the defensive tackle, Henry Hamilton, he was the impact player last season, 84 overall for that young man. He is 6'3", 267 pounds, and let's see, he was 7th on the team in tackles with 26. He had 14 for a loss and 6 sacks. He also had 2 forced fumbles and a pass deflection on the year in the middle of that interior uh, line. On to linebacker Trey Upton, 86 overall. He's the best player on the defense along with William Reed as far as overall is concerned. 86 overall, 6'1", 222 pounds. And he was really good for this team last year. He was second on the team in tackles with 54. He had 16 for a loss, which was number one on the team. Three sacks, two picks, nine pass deflections, which was fourth on the team. A forced fumble, two fumbles recovered. He was doing it all for the defense, and he really had to. There's no other linebacker help. Well, there is this season, but last year it was literally just Trey Upton at linebacker trying to help this VMI defense. On the cornerback, Bryson Shield, 85 overall, 5'11", 186 pounds, and he was third on the team of tackles with 50. He had one for a loss and three picks, 14 deflections, two forced fumbles, and he was also on special teams having two kick returns for touchdowns, and two punt returns for touchdowns. So expect him to make an impact on returns yet again. On to free safety, Darius Peters, number 20, 82 overall. He's 6'1", 196 pounds. He led the team in tackles with 62. He had four for a loss, two sacks, 10 interceptions, returned for 60 yards, 22 pass deflections, two forced fumbles, a fumble recovery for a scoop and score of 66 yards. He's a monster. And I can't wait to see him here in year number two. To round out the defense is four-star Juco transfer at strong safety, Mike Adams. He's six foot, 190 pounds. Very similar build to Darius Peters. He's got a 76 overall. He's going to step in and be the starting strong safety for head coach Rondé Barber, who is looking to repeat as Big 12 champions. And let's see how tough their schedule is going to be to try to get there again. And right off the bat, you can see two subscriber versus subscriber matchups here in Week 5 versus Cal Poly and in Week 12 versus South Dakota State. Those are going to be big matchups. But the rest of the schedule, other than Wyoming, really looks like a cakewalk. I mean, they've got William & Mary on there as well. That might be a tough matchup for them. But it looks like VMI has a very favorable schedule here for year number two of the FCS Dynasty. And they're going to win at least eight or nine games, I think. This team is really stacked. Um, but those two subscriber games should be pretty difficult for them. Cal Poly, of course, won the Pac-10. And South Dakota State took on VMI in the Big 12 Championship game last season. I'm expecting another tough matchup and a tough battle to the end in that game. And that will probably determine who's going to make the Big 12 title game between South Dakota State and North Dakota State. Um, I don't really see any of these other Big 12 schools doing too much. Western Carolina had a really good offensive line last season, a couple nice receivers, but I do believe their offensive linemen all graduated or got drafted. Sam Houston State was pretty decent last season, but I think they lost their quarterback here for year number two, so they'll be breaking somebody in 
that's brand new on that offense. Southeast Missouri State was a cakewalk last season. UT Chattanooga, Southeastern, I believe North Dakota State put up 91 points on Southeastern. So a lot of favorable matchups here for VMI. And I'm going to say at least eight or nine wins this season. What do you guys think? Let me know in the Discord, in the comment section below, what games you got scheduled or circled on this schedule here. Uh, it's going to be pretty good for them, I think. And we'll probably see a repeat of the Big 12 title game, South Dakota State versus VMI. Uh, I'm not going to predict that, but I mean, it, it's kind of looking that way just based on both teams' schedules this coming season. Well, that's it for this video, guys. Um, that is it for roster and schedule reveals for year number two. I have played a few of the week one matchups. I just have to play the rest of those. I believe there was five week one games altogether. And I'm going to get those recorded here shortly. I have been extremely sick the past couple days and I'm just drained. I have no energy to even sit here to do this commentary, but I'm doing it anyway so I can get this video out tonight. Um, but I don't have a set date for week one yet. Um, at the earliest, it's going to be next Monday for game one. Um, I, I'm not going to promise anything because I don't know when I'm going to you know, feel better and actually have the energy to do anything. So. I will see you guys sometime next week, hopefully, with week number one for our FCS Dynasty. I'll see you guys in the Discord. Take it easy.